I'll bet you're wondering what she found in that vault. Well, I'll tell you. Come closer. Me! The president of the universe! Ah. You expecting Seagal, Van Damme? Come on. No, just me. And some pizza. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Perhaps we should take it back a bit. So, there's this girl, Amy. And she gets fired by a woman named Spider. Hi, I'm Spider. And you're fired. And then she time travels. I'm out of here. But what Amy doesn't know is she was falling right into Spider's web. <laughs> See what I did there? No, oh, <clears throat> sorry. Get in here now. Yes, ma'am? Oh, no. I want you to find out when the hell she is and go there. If she speaks to anyone, I want to know who and what was said. I want to know everything she does and everything she says. Hell, if she has a bowel movement, I'd like to know whether it's squishy or firm. You got that? Yes, ma'am. Okay, go. So the good minion follows Amy as she runs directly to the BTA office. Those are the time cops, you know, the Bureau of Temporal Affairs. Yeah, just go with it, people. I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to open up a pho restaurant in like 1912 and just blow some people's minds. Good grief, I'm running from my former employer who fired me for like seven different reasons. And I've got some creepy traveler following me and trying to get into my pants. And distinctly different like memories of the year 1987. My brain hurts. None of this makes sense. But I have some information about Spider. She's time hopping and data mining to extort money from people. Make it rain, baby, make it rain! Well, what do you expect? The timeline is forked. You forked the timeline. I have alternate realities, alternate dimensions, I've got alternate... Uh, do you realize you've looked like four different people to me? I mean, hell, five minutes ago, I was shorter. I had a different suit. A different hat. It's forked. And the good little minion does as he's told and reports back to the boss lady. Listen to me. I want her dead now. Get it done. But the minion can't do it because he thinks he's falling in love with Amy. Aww. Must I do everything myself? I honestly don't know what I pay you for. Oh yeah, that's right. Time, monkey. You're coming with me. Wait. Just a tip, right? Enter the Chronarchists. They're like terrorists in the time travel world. They've captured me and want to lock me in a vault because I have the ability to end everything with the snap of my fingers. Oh. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> I often think about ending this planet. Earthlings are just messing it up. Corporate greed, war after war. 
Fracking. Have you heard of fracking? Oh, this planet disgusts me. But I digress. So, if you're so great, why don't you just snap your fingers to get yourself out of those chains? Mr. Principal of the Universe. Uh, hello. My name is President of the Universe. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Whatever, dude. It's so fucking funny you can't get yourself out of this. I have one weakness. It's a lowly earth element. Lead. I don't like lead. It's so damned leady. Look at it. Lead. Lead. So, that explains why we spent all last weekend painting this whole vault with lead. Lead paint. Can I tell you how hard that is to find? <laughs> Fucking EPA. Let's go. But I gotta pee. Pee, 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 pee. I really hated to leave them hanging like that, but I had been in there for a while. Really had to pee, get a fresh pizza, take it a movie, run some errands. I sent Grigsby home. He's safe. Probably. You know. But Amy, she deserved a little more explanation. So I thought I'd bring her here for a little heart to heart. Hello. I understand this all may be a little overwhelming for you. Um, I guess. See, that's the problem with you Earthlings right there. Nothing's ever good enough. You're never impressed. That's why everyone in your galaxy hates you. Oh, aliens are real? Uh, yeah. But you wouldn't know that, would you? Because they never come and visit. You know why? Why? They hate you. You hateable little monsters. So you're an alien? No. Do you even know what an alien looks like? No. I'll level with you. They hate you. But I don't hate you. I mean, you guys really are just as stupid as advertised. The bar none number one dum-dums of all of existence. Just simply motivated by self-interest and greed. Constantly infighting over the dumbest stuff. Skin color. Religion. <laughs> We've got this perfect little blue marble and you guys do nothing but tear it up. Do you have any idea how cool that place would be if you would just calm down? You know yours? Only planet in the entire galaxy that grows a psychoactive drug that has little to no ill side effects. Do you think that was an accident? Do you? Don't answer that. That was rhetorical. That's the universe's way of saying, hey, calm down. Have some pizza. Perhaps the food of the gods, the Cheeto. God's sake, chill the fuck out! None of this is helpful. None of this is helpful. Time. Well, time is relative. But you hop through a bunch of it, you've had people trying to kill you, and I pull you here to safety. I inform you of the existence of extraterrestrial life. I tell you of a plane beyond mortal existence. And none of this is helpful. You know what that sounds like to me, Amy? a bit ungrateful and well shit I'm gonna take ownership of that one that one is on me you little earthlings are just full of surprises I did not expect you to time jump like that is this guy an alien well, now, now you're just being rude he has do you have feelings I assume he has feelings do you expect me shocked that aliens are real? And if he's an alien, shouldn't he be all tentacles and pus and shit? Well, now, now you're just, now you're just rude. Charles, I am sorry for, thank you for your, thank you for your work. You may go now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. You see that? Omnipotent and grateful. Now, if you would, have a seat, please. No? Fine then, have a stand. What's to stop me from time jumping? Oh, I don't know. That! 
see that? Part of that whole limitless cosmic powers and stuff. You know why? Because I'm the fucking president of the fucking universe! Now please, have a seat. Perhaps you would like some tea. Do you know what I want? Is that a legitimate question? Because I can look in your brain and tell for real. Food. Pizza. A slice of pizza. The one thing your planet got right. I can do that. That sounds like a great idea. Excuse me. period in my life. I don't know if that's really the right word for it, but let's just go with that. Simple enough. I call it my Zeus period. Your Zeus period? Yeah, you know, Zeus would take various forms, come down from Mount Olympus, and basically have sex with everything. You mean the goddamn Greek gods are real too? How far does this rabbit hole go? No, no, no. Those are just fairy tales. I'm trying to keep this in simple terms that your little brain can understand. I don't know why you gotta be so damn difficult about it. I mean, is this what it's gonna be like having a half-human daughter? Why couldn't the celestial part of you be the more dominant part of your personality? Wait, what are you saying? You know your mom? Your mom? Boned her. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Judging by their reaction, I should not have taken a casual approach. I really meant to be very sensitive about this subject. I even took a note, look. Come here. Be sensitive when telling daughter about the mother fucking. Yeah. Guess notes aren't really helpful if you don't use them though, so whatever. So you're my dad and I'm half alien. You're not really getting this whole elevated being thing, are you? I'm not an alien, you're not half alien. You're some sort of celestial magic-y thing. I can control the universe like you. No, God, no. Gee, I've been at this for eons. I'm really good at it. Yeah. So how does it all work? I am, um, uh, there's a, it's more temporal. Okay, do you guys have the internal combustion engine on your planet yet? Okay, so you know how that works, right? You've seen it. It's nothing like that, really. You know, this is more of a question for the cosmic engineers. If I could... What's the meaning of life? Again, more of a question for the cosmic engineers. Yeah. Long and short of it is, you and I are two superior beings in a far inferior universe, and the two of us coexisting is kind of messing things up a little. You don't know how any of it works, do you? Magic. Okay? It's magic. It's goddamn swirly cosmic magic. There, are you happy? You're my dad. You weren't supposed to be a thing. I'm not even sure how you came to be. You shouldn't be able to be, but now that you, well, are... Everything's kind of messed up. The universe is fucked up and it's your fault. And the only way we're going to be able to unfuck it is to wipe you out. You mean, after all this, you're just going to kill me? Oh, I wouldn't do... I couldn't do that. I don't think there's any force in the universe that really could do that, except... Uh... Maybe you. No. What do you mean, no? I'm not gonna kill myself. As we speak, there are dinosaurs eating The Clash. You know the band The Clash? As they perform their last performance in front of a bunch of Roman centurions on the stage of CBGB's in 1869. You hear that statement, right? Sounds a little wacky, sounds a little crazy. That's your fault. We're going to have to wipe one of us out. And you know what? I was here first. I have seniority. I'm sure you've heard the policy, last hired, first fired. I think that's a good policy. We should go with that. Now, if you don't mind, fix this! Aw, oh, seriously? You chose yourself over your own father. Don't you think that was a little bit selfish? <sighs> now here we are, no universe. Neither of us are really dead, and now we can't kill ourselves either. Good job! Ooh, hey Amy, you wanna pop over to Earth 2? What? There's an Earth 2? No! Universe is gone, remember? Ugh, you're the worst dad ever.